Here I'm using the example of Venusaur. Now these emblems come in really really useful when you're trying to run from one place to another place and you're not touching the farm so you're getting that out of combat increased speed. Now on a Pokemon like Venusaur where you get no other passive, look you're able to get to the other objective like one second faster. Now in the world of Pokemon Unite, you know, one second can matter quite a bit. Okay, this is the difference between securing objective and not securing the objective. Okay, let's talk about some movement speed. I'm going to convince you of the movement speed emblems and why I think they're a good idea. Okay, so first things first, all of this information is coming from Unite API. You need to go check that out. Just Google Unite API. It's the first thing that comes up. A lot of crazy information. And if you want to keep up with the meta, this is absolutely the site to do it. And this is a bunch of people who are just spending their time to create this. So they have a Patreon. So if you're getting value out of it, you should definitely, definitely give them a little bit of donation. They really appreciate it. Right, it helps them uh, invest more time to create more good stuff so we can get a better understanding of the current meta. Right, now one thing I want to hone in on is this movement speed here, is a movement speed. So I'm going to use Decidua as my example. Now, uh, as your levels change, so you evolve here, you get some more, you evolve here, you get some more, and then as you level, you're going to get some more movement speed. So it's obviously variable throughout the game, right? To keep things nice and simple, and I know this isn't going to be absolutely perfect, but to keep things nice and simple, I'm just going to stick with the level 1 and contrast things in level 1. So 3.6 movement speed, that is 3,600 movement speed. So when you see the movement speed stat, like with the EXP share, or the flow stone, or with the other uh, emblems increase, right? what you're going to see is this number will shift up a little bit. Now what we have right here is the emblem loadout that I think is very very useful on Pokemon if you're not sure what emblems to use or if you just think oh I'm gonna throw an attack extra or extra special attack maybe reconsider it and look at the speed emblems okay first thing this right here let me use a white here this is a 12% increase when you're out of combat out of combat means you gonna be five let me redo that you five five seconds out of combat so out of combat means that you haven't hit the farm or the farm hasn't hit you or you haven't hit enemy or the enemy hasn't hit you for five seconds and then you get 12% increase in your movement speed. Really, really valuable when you're going from one objective to another objective like you would have seen with the Venusaur clip. And also, 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 this is movement speed stat that is permanent to your Pokemon. So this is not permanent. This will go away as soon as you engage in on an enemy or an enemy engages on you. However, the speed stat is absolutely permanent. Same as the floatstone speed stat. However, I'm going to leave the floatstone spe uh, speed stat out just for the purposes of this because I just want to hone in just on the emblems themselves so it's a little bit more transferable for something else. So you've got the plus 200 speed from the emblem. So that's going to give you about a 3.8 ms movement speed, purely just on the stat of the emblem. This is not the out of combat stuff. So if we do a little bit of math here, it's like 3.6 movement speed to 3.8, because it's a rate, movement, speed. Uh, what you're going to get is, and if you want to calculate the percentage difference, you just go 3.6 times by what? So 3.6x is equal to 3.8. And that tells you what percentage you have to increase by. So if you do a little bit of algebra and rearrange, what you're going to get is about 5.5%. I'm not even going to write x equals. We're not here to do math, right? What you get is this is about a 5.5% permanent speed increase just from the stat itself. Guys, do not sleep on this. This is insanely good. Right, I, I know, I, I'm probably going to get flamed for even saying that, but that's really, 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 really valuable. 5% going from one place to another place, 5% quicker. Let's say if it takes you 20 seconds to go from A to B, and you had a 5% movement increase. How much faster are you going to go? That's the question. Well, guess what? You're going to get there in 19 seconds time. Instead of 20 seconds time. And that's the entire game, right? Pokemon Unite is only a 10 minute game. Every second matters. And this is permanent. We're not even talking about the out of combat stuff yet. So like, and this is emblems, right? Like the attack stat 
increase from the emblem. It's like plus 10 attack. Who cares? It's literally nothing. It's like it's like half an attack weight stack. Like people you like use this to your advantage. It's really not like if you want to put on an item to increase your speed stat, you've got EXP sham floatstone. It's like floatstone is specialized for some Pokemon and EXP shares like for the for Pokemon that more support, right? So Again, take this as is. This is really, really valuable. Now, I'm going to hone in on Decidueye a little bit. There are other factors to consider with the speed increase. Okay, so these are factors when we're using Decidueye, right? You've got the X speed, which is a battle item. That's going to last for about five seconds. These two here are out of combat permanent increase, but you've got to be out of combat five seconds, and then it equals permanent permanent which is really really nice until you decide to engage back in combat and this here is a two second speed increase and this is based on the skill that's how the skill of decidueye works it's shadow sneak really really nice so let's do some multiplication here right we got 3.8 movement speed now that we've added the emblems on if you have the x speed and a float stone and the yellow emblems kicking in and the shadow sneak kicking in all at once what you're going to get is what you're going to get is 11.2 movement speed, which is... Okay, what you're going to get is about a 3.3 times quicker movement increase for that period in time. That's very, very quick. That means, like, for every... <laughs> if it took you 3 seconds to run somewhere, now it's going to take you 1 second. Right? That, like, that's, a, that's quite significant. Right? That's about uh, 11 point... Whoop, wrong thing here. That's about 11.2 movement speed. Now, I can already hear what you're saying. It's like, you're not going to get all of them at once. It's like, okay, let, uh, fair enough, and I and I absolutely hear that. So let's chunk it down to what we're probably going to get. What you're going to get in case number one is you're going to get the X speed, and you're going to get the Shadow Sneak happen at once, which is 1.45 times by 1.7, which gives you a speed increase of uh, 2.8. Let's call it 2.4. We'll round down. 2.4. So that means that you're going to run 2.4 times quicker if you combine these two. So this is why if you've ever versed a decision and knows what they're doing with the Shadow Sneak and the Keep X Speed on cooldown, as soon as they see something aggressively approaching them, it's X Speed and Shadow Sneak, and they run the other way two times four quicker than what they normally would. So unless if you're Dodrio uh, proccing X Speed or something like that and like agility in your dashing after them, you're not going to be able to catch this Pokemon. Okay, you, you're not going to be able to catch it. Right? it, it Decidueye knows what they're doing. Uh, the only way you're going to get it is if you sit in the bush. Okay, or if you're Gengar, you not move. Like, that's pretty much it. You've got nothing else. Like, even Sableye. Sableye's kind of annoying, but you can you can see the fear incoming uh, on the screen. So you just you use the skills to get away. So that's thing number one that's going to happen. And after that, you're going to get a Float Stone. And what that's going to give you is 1.2 times by 1.12... Okay, which is about a one point, I'll round down, three increase. So really, to put it into perspective, what would take you four seconds to run somewhere is now going to equal three seconds to run somewhere, which is really, really valuable because that means for every four seconds in the game, you're shaving off one second. Right? You're combining those two. That's really, really good for a Pokemon like Decidueye when you're trying to get from one position to another. If it takes you 12 seconds to run somewhere, now it's going to take you nine seconds. Right, you've shaved off three seconds. A lot can happen in three seconds. That's two spirit shackles, potentially. That's that's a lot of value. That's a lot of damage. That's earlier positioning. That's really, really, really valuable. Nothing to be shaking our heads at. Now, that's going to happen, and then that's going to happen. So there's a lot of time. It's like if you're versing good decidueye, you're not really going to be able to catch him. So I'm going to put this in contrast to our good friend Dodrio. Dodrio. Now, Dodrio has three things to consider. Each of these things combined give you 20% increase. All of them give you 20% increase. Now, Dodrio has a base speed. Dodrio has a base speed of, and I'm keeping consistent, just a level 1, 3.7 MS. I know it's like, oh, they're going to be chasing each other level 13. Okay, well, you can do your own math. I'm just keeping it nice and simple here. All right? So, what you're going to get is your speed is going to be 3.7 MS, and then you're going to get that 1.2 to the power of 3, because it happens three times. And what you're left with is like about 6.4 ms movement speed. So that's, keep in mind, this is a Dodrio charging. It's like that thing is unchaseable. It's like 
really, really hard to catch. Well, if we do this with our decidui, 3.8 ms, and we times that by that 1.2 times 1.12, what we have is 5.1 ms. That's his out of combat speed. That's almost keeping up with Dodrio, who is charging. And initially, what we get with the speed here, initially with the with the X speed and the shadow sneak, you get 3.8 times by 1.45 times by 1.7, and that's going to give you a nice juicy 9.4 movement speed, which is very very fast when you do the calculation. Now, some of this is a little bit hand wavy. We're not entirely sure. We don't know if there's a speed cap. But bottom line is, if you race Decidueye and if you race Dodrio, I can guarantee you, you're actually going to be able to outspeed that Dodrio if you proc the X speed and a Shadow Snake. Okay, if you do it properly, you're going to, you're going to be able to outrun this Pokemon just about. Right, he's really, really strong in terms of the movement speed. And what adds the value here is the yellow. It's like... the. It, if you just have a float stone alone, if you just have the float stone alone, it's 3.8 times by 1.2. Okay, which gives you 4.5. So 4.5 is is like, yeah, it's it's okay, right? It's like a 20% increase, but compared to 5.1, right? That like that's quite a little bit of a significant jump when you're combining the two because there's a bit of a multiplic multiplicative. Um, mathematics going on there which is really really solid right so um movement speed emblems absolutely not to be shaking your head at and obviously you know when we compare the venusaur clips what we see is we see that the yellow emblems kick in and get you to an objective one second earlier now in terms of how much value do you think that is i think it's pretty valuable i actually think it's really valuable and even just having the flat 200 stat increase to give you that 5%, right? This guy, what we're talking about right here, the initial 5% increase just on the stat alone, not even considering the out of combat stuff. That's, guys, that's really, really valuable. Okay, it's something that I think more people need to understand and consider. So that's the movement speed and how it functions. Now let's have a look at some of this in action. Here you can see the five second out of combat kick in as soon as that float stone pops in and you can immediately see the difference. You can immediately see the difference, and I decide to not hit the farm because I want to keep the speed increase up. But have a look at how quickly you're able to move around. Okay, you notice as soon as I engage in on the Reggie Steel, it's gone, but I keep that X speed and the Shadow Sneak on cooldown, and look how quickly I'm able to get away. Embarrassing miss there. Good thing that Espeon was very supportive. However, look at the movement speed. Look at how quickly you're able to move around and dash in and out of position. Right? So like we said, you've got that burst of the Shadow Sneak and the X speed, and then you've also got the uh, flow stone and the emblems right here you can see again shadow sneak run the other way well played it's gonna be very very hard for the other team to get you okay and you can see the value of this right here when you, when you don't need the movement speed you don't need the movement speed so arguably here it could be better for me to use the brown emblems to get the extra attack to farm a little quicker but i think it's so so minuscule on a farm right so so minuscule okay so here I'm just taking advantage, taking some of their farm while they're doing a Regilecki because they're probably not going to get value out of it. And you can see here I'm looking to support the team in the fight. So Shadow Sneak, and then we're able to get some hits onto that. Uh, Greedon and our Espeon's doing so, so good to keep up with everything. And then we get that Azumarill who's sitting in the bush. I knew he was there. All right, the Espeon then cleans up. And then we'll have a look at this. I go to score 40. The Shadow Sneak picks off the Zacian, and then we X speed away. There's no way he's going to be able to get me there. There's absolutely no way, right? So again, you've got the Shadow Sneak immediately get away, and I can decide whether I want to go in or out, right? So it takes a whole team to dive out of position, and then my team's able to clean up and get the kills. So you can see the enemies have to really, really overcommit. Now here you're going to see this example of me making not the best play, a really bad secure, but you're going to see the value of the movement speed with the Decidueye. Mistime that objective, but have a look. I've got that Shadow Sneak and the X speed. I'm outrunning Zacian Agility. Look how fast that is. And then I can decide to re-engage if I want to. You're going to see the value of this at the Wreck Plaza Pit as well. This one I think it is the most useful. Okay, the tree decides to dive me. Trying to get the damage onto the squishier things. But have a look. This is X speeding Trevenant trying to chase me. 
Alright, no chance, absolutely no chance. I decide to re-engage, do some dam damage if I can. And look at look at the position of the team, right? We've got three are dead and myself and Dragapult. And then Dragapult gets picked off, so I'm pretty much the only one alive here. If I don't have the speed here, I'm totally screwed. Alright, look, I'm outrunning the speedster. And the only way I die here is because they've got so many alive, they're able to pivot, they're able to get me in my own jungle, right? The Elder Ghost did that pole and puff and it out for 30 seconds. But luckily my team was there to respawn and then they're able to get some kills because the enemy had to move themselves out of the ideal position and they weren't able to rip the Rayquaza. And at this point, the, my goal here is I'm not looking to rip Rayquaza, I'm having a look at the time. It's like I know our team's ahead on score, just ahead on score, so I'm looking to defend. And so I notice the Elder Ghost is running off to school, which is absolutely correct play from the Elder Ghost. But Decidueye is the one Pokemon that can stop everything. Look, I'm able to stop it from massive distance. So having that having that vision, having that ability, and having that movement speed in that Ray Quasar fight, that saved it. If, if I got picked off like five seconds earlier, their team rips a Ray Quasar. And look, we're only winning by a little bit, right? We're ahead because our Sable is off scoring all the time. But look, we're only winning by a little bit, and that only happened because of the movement speed. Damage was not going to help me in that situation.